Welcome back artists to Art Project Hour and welcome back to my studio. Not many people know that I'm actually a trillionaire, courtesy of my parents. Unfortunately, the $200 trillion I now own hold a collectible value only. So back to work I go. In the 1972 classic musical movie Cabaret, Liza Minnelli and Joel Grey sing that money makes the world go round. But what is money? According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, money is defined as something used as a way to pay for goods and services and to pay people for their work. Dealing with money is an inevitable part of our lives as humans. It is an essential commodity and while bartering and exchanging goods for goods or services for goods still has a place in modern society, it all still comes back to money. Money in currency can come in the form of coins, banknotes, credit cards, digital transfers, cryptocurrency and stocks, with gold and jewels still being used as an acceptable form of trade and payment. Money is important because it enables us to live and to buy the basics as well as luxuries. Money gives us choice and freedom. It gives us more independence and control over our own lives and the ability to look after ourselves and other people. Money is the key reason why someone may live in poverty or have great wealth and live a life of prosperity. Everyone has an opinion on money. There are countless musings, ongoing discussions and documentation about money by authors, poets, songwriters, artists, philosophers, business owners and politicians. The theme of money has also inspired popular movies, television shows and cartoons. The popularity of games of chance and gamble with cash prizes and lotto speaks volumes about our very human desire to live comfortably without the stress of affordability and obtaining money. As far back as 2500 BC, Egyptians created metal rings they used as money and actual coins have been used since at least 700 BC when they were used in a society in what is modern day Turkey. Paper money came about during the Tang Dynasty in China, which lasted from 618 to 907 AD. Designing new currency or updating old ones is a long and involved process with various stakeholders and people involved. Both banknotes and coins have a double-sided design with a combination of text and graphics, which may include current monarchs and heads of state, historical figures and places, animals, symbols and items of significance. They are often created and manufactured with security features such as special paper and ink, serial numbers, holographic seals and transparent windows. Renaissance artist Rembrandt created The Parable of the Rich Fool, also known as The Money Changer, in 1627, with many modern and postmodern artists also creating works and entire exhibitions inspired by the theme of wealth, commodity and money, such as Andy Warhol, Ben Allen, Alec Monopoly and CJ Hendry. In 1994, artist duo Bill Drummond and Jimmy Corti, known as K Foundation, created a huge controversy and stir when they famously burnt cash to the value of one million British pounds in a disused boathouse on the Scottish island of Jura as a performance art piece to create a discourse and debate in the wider community. This is actually one of the favourite items I own. It's a willow budget tin that was used during many Australian households during the 1960s and 70s. If you actually look at this lid here, you can see that there are these little slots cut into the metal there. Each of them with a little category written underneath. So you can see here, bread, milk, phone. But you can also see that there's house payments and insurance there as well. When you open it up, you can actually see that there's these little compartments here where the money collects. And each of those little compartments corresponds to one of those little slots that's on the top there. But you can actually see when you open it inside that milk, rates and house payments all have exactly the same sized compartment. I really love this little tin because it shows how quickly commodities and the value of money can change over time. This was really only used between 50 and 60 years ago. So for this week's task, I want you to create a work based around the theme of money and currency. It's a really broad topic so it should give you lots of inspiration and scope for some really amazing works. You could be designing a new currency, 
updating an existing coin or banknote, or create an artwork based around the theme of money in general. Like always, you can use any medium you wish. Thanks again for joining me for Art Project Hour. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye.